free gut was clearly not only free gut but water gut um, were enclaves where slaves were able to purchase land and build these vernacular homes. The, the term vernacular has to do with more of a simple cottage construction and therefore um, freed slaves actually when they were able to purchase a piece of land and build something and obviously they were very skilled uh, craftsmen. They built what is considered a vernacular uh, indigenous, uh, it's wonderful, um, very simple type of construction. Well, when my grandfather um, bought this property from Marie Frost in the 1950s, um, where we are today is a building he built. It was an empty lot, but it came with the two vernacular buildings. And they're very modest cottages, but they're beautiful space. The smallest one was built in 1875 by Marie Frost herself and her sister for $5,000. And the records show in um, uh, the cadastral office a record of deeds, you can see actually when it was built and for how much it was built. Marie Frost owned a lot of property in Christianstead and she was my dad's um, godmother. What are we going to do with your dish? Huh? We have to get another bin. Or we have to um combine for this have a yeah, from just metals. Well, I don't know, follow You know at this point if it is an outhouse, you're kind of waiting through when you think it was last used. Okay, sure. There was a notion that living in a small building in the middle of town with 10 kids made you want to go out into the country, into a subdivision and, and buy a half acre and build your house. And that was a sign of, I'm, I'm moving up, I'm, I've, I've, I've arrived. But what happens in that scenario is that you forget how rich your history was when your great grandparents didn't have anything, they were former slaves, they became freed, and then with what they have, they were able to build a building that not only is amazing that they built it back then, they actually transferred it from one generation to another till today that you still have it, and it's still standing. And no one seems to really want to talk about that. And it's, yes, it comes from a negative history, but there's a resilience there of, of local people and what they did and what they were able to actually produce and, and pass down, which is a, a rarity within the American experience, especially with African Americans. So I think it's, it's something that needs to be looked at and explored more. And maybe there should be a better discussion about who lived where and what they did because I think if we reconnect with our past history, maybe we'll know what to do with our future. Mm -hmm.